All right, now this is gonna be a bit of a quicker video. Just wanted to go on a brief rant because yesterday, in my opinion, we saw one of the best displays of grappling in mixed martial arts, period. This is like the epitome of what we should expect from grapplers. Out of Hanato Moicano in that first round against Benoit saint -Denis, one of the most dominant rounds in recent memory, could have legitimately been scored a 10-7 based on how much damage was done to Benoit Saint-Denis, based on the impact that was done to Benoit Saint-Denis. The guy looked completely unrecognizable coming out of that first round, looked like a, a swollen Brendan Schaub almost, you know what I mean? Like it was pretty insane to see what he looked like at the end of that first round and that was all done on the mat, okay? I didn't see anybody complain about this performance even though it was largely grappling done on the mat right now there's this ridiculous narrative that goes around uh that if you don't like watching a guy take another guy down and do nothing with it hold him there while doing no damage mounting no offense of your own not trying to submit him or anything like that maybe just landing a knee to the thigh here and there that you're a casual fan okay now i hate that term i think it's a very overused term but I'll make an exception here. I think that those people that say that are casual fans. I think they are trying to signal or act like they are a hardcore fan. They are trying to pretend like they like the most boring aspect of the sport or at least the most boring aspect to the larger audience, right? So they can pretend like, oh, well, the part that everybody hates, I enjoy it. So I'm a hardcore fan. Meanwhile, it's ridiculous because it's not conducive to the scoring criteria and you should want to see a fight not a grappling match, okay? The same argument that they say, oh, if you don't want to watch grappling, go watch kickboxing. Well, if you don't want to watch fights, go watch wrestling, go watch sambo, go watch jiu-jitsu, okay? What are we talking about here? Hanato Moikano, his grappling style is completely conducive with the scoring criteria, and that's exactly what we should expect from grapplers. Not a single moment of that fight is Hanato Moicano thinking, ah, I'm good here in full guard. I'm just going to lay here. Do you know what I mean? Never. He's trying to pass to half guard, to mount, to take your back. Every single time Benoit gave him an opportunity to take the back, he jumped on it immediately, hooks in, starts doing damage, you know, and then you'll see other guys, their opponent gives the back, like Corey Sanhagen and Umar Nurmagomedov. Umar Nurmagomedov body locks, drags him back down to his knees. Never trying to take the back, not trying to do damage, not trying to submit him, just trying to hold him there. Neutralize his opponent, right? Which is not a fight. It just isn't, dude. There's this ridiculous thing that I see going around from people where they'll say, the word damage isn't in the, sc uh, the scoring criteria. Get off of that shit. It's not even true. This is such a low level, low IQ take that it's actually hard to imagine that there's people that have actually read the scoring criteria and come to that conclusion, okay? Because yes, the word damage, all right, which is, you know, what they probably do is they pull it up and go control F and then look for damage. Yeah, the word damage isn't in there. But you know what it is, dude? Impact, which is the main criteria to score effective grappling and striking, okay? Guess what, dude? They define impact. It's essentially a synonym for damage. At the very least, in the scoring criteria, they cite contusions and abrasions. They cite swelling. They cite an, uh, a diminishment of your opponent's abilities, right? All these things. We saw out of Hanato Moicano on the mat, on the mat, constantly beating the shit out of Benoit Saint-Denis. If he's not trying to go for a choke, he's hitting you. If he if he's opened up an opportunity to go for a choke while he's hitting you, he'll go for a choke. But he's never just laying there. He's trying to progress the fight. He's trying to finish the fight. And this is what we should expect from grapplers. When you're on the feet, almost by definition, strikers are trying to finish the fight. They're trying to knock you out. They're trying to hurt you. They're trying to finish right? A lot of the grappling we see in today's MMA is not that. It's trying to neutralize your opponent, which is not a fight. It's not progressing the fight, which is in the scoring criteria. Hanato Moicano does that. This should set the bar for grappling. If we can get that, I know Hanato Moicano is not just some everyday grappler. I understand that. This guy is phenomenal at what he does. But seeing him be able to do that, right? We should expect more out of certain guys and I know a lot of people a lot of the fans of those fighters are gonna say something along the lines of oh well the only reason you uh, like watching Hanato Moicano fight is because you agree with the things that he says or you think he's based or funny or whatever it is or you're Islamophobic that's what they'll probably say if we're being quite honest but no dude okay no the reason I like watching him fight is because he's trying to finish always always I would much rather watch that 
okay? Then watch Israel Adesanya leg kick at range for five rounds. And I'm not a huge grappling fan. I would, honestly, if I'm being honest with myself and you guys, I would rather watch a, a striking match on the feet in mixed martial arts gloves. I think it's one of the most exciting things Probably the most exciting thing sports have to offer. But you know what, dude? That was a close second, okay? Because when Hanato Moikano takes somebody down, especially early in a fight, early in that first round, you're not thinking, fuck, all right, well, you know, four minutes left, let's get to round two. You're thinking, oh, uh-oh, dude, Benoit saint is going to die, probably. He's probably done. He's getting choked or something. That's what goes through your head. You're like, oh, they're dry. It's early in the round. Benoit Saint-Denis is finished, okay? And essentially, that's what happened. I know they let it go on another round, but all the damage that ended up ending the fight happened in that first round, okay? This is what we should expect from grapplers, and I appreciate the fuck out of Hinata Moikano. Somebody with a grappling, uh, grappling heavy style go out there and do what he did. That is like, that's what MMA grappling should be. This is a fight. This is not a grappling contest. You either are trying to finish via submission or you're going to beat the shit out of your opponent until he gives you a submission or you're just going to TKO him which we've seen from Moicano now two fights in a row right we saw him do this to Jalen Turner we saw him do this to um to Benoit Saint-Denis last night and we've seen him choke countless people as well once he gets you down you are in actual danger which then opens up uh it opens up things because your opponent is trying to get the fuck away from you Whereas with a guy, you know, we know the guys we're talking about, right? When you look at that style, your opponent or their opponent is never really like, uh-oh, I'm in danger. Oftentimes what they'll do is, is I'll just ride out the round and then we'll start on the feet because they know they're not going to get fucking finished for the most part. Obviously, there's some guys that are exceptions to that, right? Even Habib, in a sense, was an exception to that. He wasn't just trying to take you down and hold you there. Oftentimes, he was beating you up, Kimuras, chokes, whatever it was, right? But nowadays we get this a lot where you see guys take someone down, do nothing with it, but they end up winning a round simply because their opponent wasn't able to get any damage off in in the short amount of time they had on the feet, right? Hanato Moikano is not like that. That is, that is exactly what MMA grappling should look like. And I'm fucking sick of people acting like it's not. Okay, dude? Do not tell me I'm a casual because I don't want to watch some dude lay on top of another dude for five minutes. That's gaslighting, you motherfuckers, okay? Don't let them gaslight you. That's what grappling should look like, period, dude. Excitement, start to finish, you know? You're not like, ah, oh, fuck, you know? God damn it. When Moicano gets Benoit saint down, you're like, oh, shit, what's going to happen, right? That's what you're thinking because you know that he's going to try and damage the guy. You know he's going to try and finish the fight because it's what he's supposed to do, okay? It's what he's supposed to do, and I appreciate him for it. It is fantastic. He's probably one of my favorite grapplers in the sport to this day, okay? Right now, it's just, it's it's so much better than watching somebody lay on top of somebody for five minutes. You know, it's, it's, it's fantastic, dude. And, you know, when you get a guy looking like that at the end of the round, you see what you're capable of doing on the mat if you have good control, what you're capable of doing to your opponent, and that's what you should be wanting to do. Do you know what I mean? Instead of doing the bare minimum to keep the fight there and then throw your hands up in the air when the scorecards are close. Do you know what I mean? It's wild to me, dude. So, like I said, don't let them gaslight you, okay? That's what grappling should look like. Short rant video, okay? I appreciate the fuck out of Hanato Moikano for doing damage and trying to finish a fight when he's on the mat as long as it is there. And uh, like I said, this should this should be the standard. Or maybe not the standard, because, you know, like I said earlier, this guy's pretty exceptional on the ground. He's a special grappler. Like, there's, you know, he's probably one of the best grapplers in the UFC right now. But maybe what I could say is, is that people should be striving for that, right? It doesn't necessarily need to be the standard, but that's what we should see people trying to do. Whether or not they're able to do it to that level is is fine. But you shouldn't just be laying there doing fucking nothing, okay? This is a fight. Make it look like one. Like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.